This video was filmed prior to the COVID outbreak and shelter-in-place guidance was put into effect. Now more than ever, people are taking the time to focus on mental and physical self-care, and this also includes your down there care. Thank you to Cottonelle for sponsoring this video, and know that Cottonelle is working around the clock to get products back on shelves ASAP. Change. Change is a two-step process. Decide the type of person you want to be. Prove it to yourself with small wins. There once lived a girl, me, who did not live a healthy lifestyle, and when I wanted to change, I struggled with consistency. I found that even when I tried to implement some of these healthy habits, they would only last a short time until I would revert back to my unhealthy self. I became afraid to jump back on the health track because I was waiting for myself to fail. That's when I learned the importance of identity in lasting change. Behavior that does not align with the identity will not last. It's one thing to say I'm the type of person who wants to be healthy. It's something very different to say I'm the type of person who is healthy. Each time you follow through on a habit, it's like a suggestion. Hey, maybe this is who I am. I'm gonna share 10 healthy habits and the reward for each habit because our brains are reward detectors. Behaviors followed by satisfying consequences tend to be repeated. When I was my unhealthy self, I didn't drink much water, and as a result, I got headaches, fatigue, body aches, I just felt sickly. As soon as I started drinking a lot more water, all that went away and was replaced with mental clarity, energy, and healthy joints. Personally, I don't like the taste of plain water, so I drink herbal tea. Now, I wasn't always the biggest fan of herbal tea, but I conditioned my mind to love and crave it. How did I do that? Well, it started on a summer day. I ordered an iced tea, and my sister was driving, music up, windows down, I felt that amazing summer energy, and as I felt that great feeling, I drank the tea. I began linking these happy summer feelings to iced tea. And today, first thing in the morning, I go downstairs and prep a cup of ice green tea and would carry that around all day. And every time I drink it, I get feelings and images in my head of summer euphoria. Start drinking a glass of water before every meal. For an extra health kick, add two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar in your water as there are tons of health benefits. Your brain is strongly influenced by hydration status. Studies show that even mild dehydration can impair many aspects of brain function. Wow, this is a big story that I'm saving for season two of The Globe Diaries, the final season, which is coming out in October 2020. New episode will be released every Wednesday. Follow my Globe Diary Instagram account for updates. In the meantime, you are what you eat, so don't be fast, cheap, or fake. Next time you eat, eat slowly and without distraction. Be in the present moment and really taste the flavor of your food. Listen to your physical hunger cues and prep meals ahead of time to prevent overeating. Limit eating out to once or twice a week and learn to make delicious recipes at home. And most importantly, have balance. Back in high school, I used to have to wake up really early to go attend a church scripture study before school. Waking up early was my least favorite thing, and what made it even worse were the cold, dark mornings. But when your perspective changes, so does your attitude. I now realize the only way to become a mentally tough person was to put myself in uncomfortable situations. Waking up early is life-changing. It's the first choice of the day, and that first choice of whether to press snooze or get up and chase your dreams sets the tone for the rest of your day. Remember that statement tomorrow when your alarm clock rings. What kind of day do you want to have? I can't explain the incredible feeling of being up and already getting started with your day while it feels like the rest of the world is still fast asleep. Want to know what that feels like? Go try it and see. Self-care down there is often neglected, and it's probably not the most popular topic in your everyday conversation, but it's so important because if you don't take proper care, you can develop yeast infections, bad bacteria, and bad scents to form. So the vagina is a self-cleaning oven, and the only part you need to wash with warm water and a washcloth is the vulva. Spread your lips apart and gently cleanse around the folds. Don't scrub as the skin is very delicate. And for my bathroom routine, I started incorporating Cottonelle's flushable wipes, and I didn't notice this before until I started using it, but traditional toilet paper doesn't fully do the job. When I combine both the wipes and toilet paper, it maximized cleanliness. Cottonelle's toilet paper is very absorbent and sturdy while still soothing on the skin, and I really love their wipes because it's alcohol-free. I find these wipes especially handy when I'm traveling because I usually don't have access to a shower, feeling so gross after a car trip or a flight. So having these in my bag is such a lifesaver, and that's part of the healthy girl identity. She's always prepared. She's that girl that is always smelling good, maintaining hygiene, and self-care no matter where she is. 
You guys can click below to purchase Cottonelle toilet paper and flushable wipes to start your down there care routine. Live to move, move to feel alive. I started a mood tracker to see the difference in moods on days that I exercised versus when I didn't. There was quite a difference in my mood. I was really enthusiastic and happy on the days I exercised and I felt lukewarm on the days I didn't. Find exercises that you love. I started doing follow along cardio dance routines on YouTube and listened to my own music during the video and it is so much fun. Highly recommend. Always find ways to walk more and don't view walking as exercise, but just a way to be active, move your body and get your blood flowing. For example, if you're going to the grocery store, park further from the store. I understand many of us lead busy lives, but if time is your excuse, then it just means that exercise isn't important enough to you. If you really wanna do something, you will make time for it. Self-care is not a luxury. It's a form of survival. It's also a simple way to feel better about your appearance and life. This is a simple one that goes a long way. Sunscreen will protect your skin from the UV rays so your skin will not only age better, but protect you from developing skin cancer. Doctors say that skin cancer is one of the most preventable cancers by just simply applying sunscreen every day. Let's learn how to create a habit out of this. So you brush your teeth every morning, put your sunscreen where your toothbrush is. A cue is a trigger. By simply seeing the sunscreen next to your toothbrush in the morning, that will already trigger you. The routine is to apply the sunscreen and the reward, you will age beautifully and you can avoid painful, costly doctor visits. When I didn't take the time to search for outlets for my emotions, I turned to an unhealthy habit of emotional eating. If I was stressed, I grabbed a cookie, but I replaced this habit of emotional eating with other activities that made me feel good. Let's explore the habit change. The trigger for this unhealthy habit was stress. I replaced the routine of eating with this new routine, and the reward is kept the same, relief. In the beginning, I had to consciously make an effort to change. Everything is a choice before it becomes a habit. Once a week, you should dedicate some time to reset and do a leisure activity, whether that's reading and taking a hot bath, watching a movie, going to an art museum, walks on the beach with a friend. Just do something to take your mind off of work, school, or whatever it is you're dealing with. Rest days are important because they improve mental health and re-energize you so you can conquer the week with vitality. Just like your muscles during rest day, you build in strength as you recover. Healthy people choose to focus on what they do have and partake in gratitude daily. They know that negative thinking only causes more stress and doesn't solve anything. They don't complain, they simply look at the cards they are dealt with and figure out a solution. And that leads to happiness and happiness equals health. Every morning, think of three things you are grateful for and this will help set a positive tone for the rest of your day. Thank you again to Cottonelle for sponsoring this video. Oh, yeah, yeah. To see